Good afternoon ladies and gents, it's Simon here at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate. Uh, it is the Ford Transit Connect. Uh, this one is the L2 long wheelbase, um, obviously H1 low roof. Um, and it is in trend specification, but the eagle eyed uh, members of you that are watching this video will know that it isn't a standard specification. So let me explain slightly. Um, it is first of all, a two keeper from new vehicle. The first keepers were Sky Television, so that may give you some idea of why it isn't standard specification. So Trend normally doesn't come with the aircon. This does have aircon, it does have a quick clear windscreen. It does also have the upgraded factory sat nav with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and an integrated reverse parking camera as well. Um, the second keeper that we supplied it to when it had done I think about 30,000 miles has just part exchanged it back in. It has now covered 64,000 miles. Uh, he has added the additional uh, alloy wheels that you will normally find on the limited specification. And I've got to say it's in overall good, clean, tidy condition. Now, for those of you that haven't seen our videos before, the purpose of our videos is to give you a walks and all video walk around of the vehicle. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. So we're going to start up here on the roof, always start up on the roofs. Uh, as you can see, um, the customer has retained the Rhino 3 bar uh, roof kit on it. Um, the rest of the gubbins that Sky supply it with has been removed. The roof, as you can see, is in overall good condition with no major damage. Moving down onto your windscreen, it is of the quick clear variety. So when it ices up, just hit that button, it'll all de-ice it for you rapidly. And then coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition, no major dents, stone chips, or any kind of damage like that. Front of the vehicle, your um, front bumper, etc., front grills, those are all in good condition. Again, you will notice that it does have the upgraded front parking sensors on it, as well as the rear, rear parking sensors, and as well as that rear camera as well. So everything's looking pretty hunky-dory on the front. One thing I will just point out to you as we come down here is there is just some very, very light sort of hedge rashy scuffing just right down the bottom there. Um, it isn't too bad. It's really not massively noticeable. Um, there's no other kind of major scuffs on it or anything like that. Your front fog light on the front there, that's all in good order. And if we look down the passenger side of the vehicle, again, overall good condition. There are a couple of kind of, our dent man has done some outie dings. Now all the Sky vans suffer on the sliding door with some outie dings. For some reason, Sky decided not to protect that door with any kind of internal ply lining. So um, they all do have kind of this outie dingy stuff. I'll show it to you when we get around there. Uh, see if you can make out what I'm on about. The waffle that's coming out of my mouth at the moment. Fun fog lights, those are all good. No heavy scuffing on this bumper. Look down the side profile. Lovely mirror finish to that paintwork look. It's the same on both sides. It's got a really nice glossy finish to the paintwork. Uh, passenger side front wing, overall good condition. This is just dirt from driving it down here, okay? Same with this bit here, okay? Um, but your wing, overall good condition, side repeater is where it should be. We do have those alloy wheels, those are an upgrade as I've mentioned. You've got a Devante tyre on there. That tyre has that element of tyre tread drip, as you can see. Now where we are with tyre tread depths, um, anything less than 3mm we replace, the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit's all good. Upper and lower mirrors are good. Driver's side door glass, that's all good. Drive side door itself is in overall good condition as well. Your driver's door handle and locker in good condition. And then if we just have a look at your door edges and your alignments and you can see everything aligns up nicely and there's no excessive damage to your door edges either. Again down low, check out your lower seals. Lower seals are all in good condition, no damage. Your side protective strips going down the side of the vehicle are also in good condition as well. Uh, being X Sky TV vans, they are wrapped from new, so you'll always get little bits like this where there's just a little bit of wrap that's left over. Um, we'll try and get as much of it off as possible. Driver's side rear quarter is that largest panel on the van, and as you can see, it's in overall clean, tidy condition. Um, what did I just see there? I mean, if we're being really fussy, 
you can't really see it, but there is ever such a slight kind of mark there, but I'd hate it, I'd call it a ding, but yeah, it's not, not really. Um, fuel filler, got your easy fueling device there. No fuel cap to release, you just pop your refueler in there. Uh, driver's side alloy wheel, again a Devante tyre. Alloy not in bad nick, that tyre. Again, not great, is it? Um, I don't think the front one was great either, was it? So we'll have to have a look at the whole tyre situation. May well even be getting a few tyres out of me there. Uh, have a look at that reflection in the paintwork. Looks nice, doesn't it? Rear light unit this side. Again, overall clean, tidy condition. Rear bumper corners are all good, no major scuffing. Round to the back of the van and we have a 50-50 split on your rear barn doors. High level brake light is in good working order as you can see and then bring the camera down look at your alignment on your rear doors and your door edges and you can see that that's also in nice tidy condition door handles all looking good rear bumper with reflector again overall good condition there are minor wear and tear marks on your rear bumper but nothing of any kind of significance there's your reverse camera and then opening up the back of the van now the sky vans generally will come with this kind of full racking system that makes the van quite unusable for anybody other than sky um, this has all been removed now to make this van really quite a nice uh, space in the back of this van um, should you need it um, the sortimo flooring uh, it's not sortimo actually is it but it's a good hard wearing flooring uh, that's all good factory bulkhead as you can see sides of the van overall good tidy condition you have got little little 12 volt power there in the back there charging power tools uh, upgraded led lighting in the back of this one as well inside of your rear doors again overall good condition a couple of little handles there they're quite handy same on that door uh, security guards as well but on both sides of the doors but as you can see internally the doors yes there's some elements of wear and tear but overall i'd say they're in above average condition corner on this side your corner units and your light units those are also in good condition as are your bumper corners again looking down the passenger side from this angle and there's another nice kind of reflection to that paintwork upper quarter is all good lower quarter and arch again what did i just see there so we have the minorest of little dings there it hasn't broken the paintwork your alloy wheel on this side. We have another Devante tire. That tire, again, not great, is it? Oh my God, three tires I'm looking at, Jesus. Um, we just have just a little bit of, do with a bit of teacup and bolish and a bit of a touch in there, a bit of hedge rash, uh, not hedge rash, gravel rash there, but nothing major, that's easily enough sortable. You know, one of the one I was talking about, the outie dings on this door. Can I get to an angle where you're gonna... So they have been done by my dead man. Okay, there's your mirror finish. Um, we're talking, probably can't even see it. There are just minor little indentations there. Okay, the vast majority of them have gone, but there are just some minor indentations there on that sliding door. Again, get down low, check out your lower sills, your side protective strips, and these are all also in good condition as well. Door handle on this side's all good. Sliding door opens up, slides back nicely, and holds into place as you would expect it to. And then have a look at your door shuts. Not only are they clean and tidy, as in we've valeted them nicely, but overall not too bad for a sky van. You will always get your little bits of chipping on your edge here. Now, can always just put a bit of a uh, bit of our protective tape over that to be fair your side step there that's all in good order and then inside the back of the van just giving you another viewpoint there got good led light on the back there your roof's looking in nice tidy condition bulkhead all looking good and as you can see overall good condition closing that one back up Moving on to your passenger door, passenger door windows all good, passenger wing mirror, upper and lower mirrors, those are good as well. Door handle here is all good. Have a look at your door edges as again I bring the camera down, everything lines up to how you would expect it to. 
and there's no heavy damage on your door edges. Passenger door itself is in overall good condition. And then your passenger side front wing with side repeater, again, overall good condition. Alloy wheel this side, looking good. Devante tire. Jesus. Possibly looking at four tires on the thing, aren't we really? I don't know. We'll see what they measure out at. But as I say, anything less than three mil we replace. We replace. Those are all kind of looking about three millish. I haven't got the measuring gauge out on me to be fair, but I think I may have to prepare myself for that. Um, anyway, side of the van. Look at that. How nice and respectable does that van look? Now let's go to the cabin, shall we? Passenger side front door card, overall clean, tidy condition. Door bins are clean and tidy. Electric window switch. Your door shuts are also clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics are in nice, tidy condition. Inside the van, uh, you've got some proper Transit Connect rubber mats there. Uh, we'll show you under the bonnet. There's your bonnet release. Glove box. There's your sheepy. Um, otherwise known as your diesel filler if you happen to run out of fuel. Don't know what that bit's from. Ah, it's from up there actually. There you go. We'll refit that for you. Vents are all good. Top of the dashboard on this side. Again, clean, tidy, overall condition. Seats to remove our camera so you don't think I'm trying to hide anything. And then your seats, as you can see, they're in nice, clean, tidy condition. Now, they call it the three seater, I call it the two and a half seater. Um, pretty good for getting like your kids from school. Maybe not so good for getting three fat blokes to the building site, but there we go. And I class myself in that fat bloke category if we, uh, if we happen to anybody start to kick off over that. Uh, bonnet, um, uh, bolts are all in clean, tidy condition. Just shows you it's not had paint work off. Uh, Coolant, as you can see, it's still the orange coolant. That is the uh, the proper coolant that you say all the Fords should have. Great fluid is here. Windscreen wash is here. Oil filler here. Dipstick is here. Battery over here. Air box, and then your fuse box is over here. And if I give you an overview of the engine, you can see she looks really nice and tidy, doesn't she? Back inside, and your driver's side door card again overall clean tidy condition electric windows electric mirrors door shuts as you can see these are clean and tidy your over mats inside as well pedal rubbers are looking in good condition and the driver's side seat as you can see is also in very clean and tidy condition as well um, so getting inside it's ooh, it's Close the van up and there, electric windows and electric mirrors, door handle, just in case you didn't know. Front and rear fog lights, uh, manual lights on this one, then you've got dashboard illumination to the right hand side. The steering wheel is in overall good tidy condition, it's not got any excessive wear or tear on it, obviously driver's airbag. We have multi-function on your steering wheel for your telephone and voice control, uh, volume buttons and search buttons are over here. We have wipers on this stalk, we have indicators and main beam on this stalk. Your driver instrument binnacle, as you can see, is very clean and tidy, it's not full of dust, uh, no warning lights on it, um, everything's nice and dandy there. Uh, we have just a little bit of storage, so a little button there that you, a little button there that you press up, and that gives you entry into this storage box where you've got another 12 volt power as well. Uh, this is the nice touchscreen system that I was on about. Um, so you've got factory navigation with it. If I engage reverse gear, which is all the way to the right and backwards, that activates your reverse parking camera and also your rear parking sensors and your front parking sensors. So factory nav, we've got DAB, FM and AM, uh, obviously Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music, your navigation system, uh, forward apps, and then we've got all of your other various settings, but in my eyes, more importantly, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, this is all controlled through this system in the center here. And then we have your God-given right of air conditioning, your normal heater controls, heated quick clear windscreen. You don't have a heated um, rear window. I think that's for your heated mirrors. And then your parking sensors on and off. Another 12 volt power down here, cup holder down here, five speed manual gearbox, 
and let's just have a look in between your seats hopefully you can see overall clean and tidy condition as well as is the whole cabin and that my friends is about it so there are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. Reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, not reviews on Instagram, but presence. Um, and that, my friends, is about it, I think. Um, thanks for watching. Um, there's 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back but if we can be of any further help feel free to give us a shout if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases then like and subscribe to the youtube channel folks like and subscribe and there we go my friends thanks for watching appreciate it see you later cheers